Hi, my name is Jessica Wang. I'm the CMO and the partner at IMP Capital, a boutique VC firm based out of Vancouver, Canada, and a proud partner of a wholesale investor for this conference. Well, when we look at um, companies and founders, a very important question we ask is their core purpose and drive. Why do you do it? Because understanding that combined with a lot of the other factors like the what and the hows um, and the who's will determine how far an entrepreneur would go and how relentlessly they would be pursuing it. So, well, here at MP Capital, our why is to invest in changes into talents and technologies that would shape tomorrow and emerge with greatness. Our focus is to identify, grow, and emerge with unicorns. And we enable that by being global and local at the same time. With offices and partners covering North America, Europe, China, Southeast Asia, and Australia, we can truly leverage the global industry perspective from our senior team and advisors, as well as from our active participant participation in the uh, local innovation ecosystem. Here's our how. Through a unique top-down cross-region industry research, we identify sectors and technologies that are on the verge of explosive growth. And then we proactively seek potential companies from our global deal source and go through our screening process. Last, but perhaps the most important, we're very hands-on and put all of our resources to help our portfolio companies grow. So here's uh, some more details of our how. For example, as a VC firm, we are one of the rare ones that are fairly active in the different regional and local innovative uh, ecosystem. We participate in conferences and we put together uh, different uh, different parties to help ensure a thriving local uh, innovation system. This enables us to have access to a variety of high potential direct deals in the areas we want. Also, when we're working with portfolio companies, we truly put ourselves in their shoes, understanding their DOS, um, i.e. You know, their danger, risks, and opportunities they're facing, and strengths they're relying on, and then match our strength to help uh, and, and our resources to that. Here's uh, a couple examples. Uh, apply board. This is one of our early investments in 2017. <laughs> And uh, uh, when I say early, uh, I mean, our firm is very young, uh, but we're very ambitious. This is a company, Applyboard is a company that would revolutionize the whole system of the uh, international students studying abroad. Our value add in this case was a constant collaboration as every, um, at, at every key step of the company's growth path. Also, we had assisted their business expansion in China. We are particularly proud of this venture, not only because they had grown into one of the very few Canadian unicorns, but also because it had proven our thesis. And the next one, web market. This is a first mover to re-architect and simplify the B2B food supply chain by establishing a producer-centric platform with clear price advantage for market participants. This is actually resulted from our top-down analysis when we saw how COVID had really sped up the digitization of some of the traditional industries, uh, industries with enormous market size. And um, here's some more examples of um, companies that we have um, searched and picked and invested in the past. Um, and um, some of them, there's some more. 
uh, including wholesale investor, the actually the fintech company that's hosting this um, this uh, uh, conference. Here's our current innovation themes, areas we're focusing on to spot early unicorn opportunities. At the start of 2021, as we look forward, there has never been a better time to be investing into the future. So with that, I thank you very much. And together, let's innovate.